some nonsense about how she would lose her head. I do have some jam tarts with me, so please don't follow if you are allergic. Her lessons have finished for the day, so I've taken her down to the riverbank in attempts to calm her. Please follow her if she runs off, though I must warn you, her delusions may force her to touch whoever's around her. Please follow me. little busy bee, improve each shining hour, and gather honey all the day from every opening flower. How skillfully she builds her cell, how neat she spreads the wax, and labours hard to store it well with the sweet shoe she makes. In works of labour or of skill, I would be busy too, for Satan finds some mischief still for idle hands to do. In books or work or healthful play, let my first years be passed. That I may give for every day some good account at last. I wonder if I should fall right through the earth. How funny it will seem to come out among the people that walk with their heads downward. The antipathies, I think. But I shall have to ask them the name of the country is, you know. Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? I want an ignorant little girl she'll think me for asking. No, it would never do to ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Dinah will miss me very much tonight, I should think. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. Dinah, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air, I'm afraid, but you might catch a bat, and that's very like a mouse, you know. But do cats eat bats, I wonder? Do cats eat bats? Do cats eat bats? Do bats eat cats? Do cats eat bats? Do cats eat bats? Now, Dinah, tell me the truth. Would you rather eat a bat? Who is and whiskers? How late it's getting! Do you mean by that? 
Explain yourself. I can't explain myself, sir, for I'm not myself, you see? I don't see. Well, perhaps you haven't found so yet, but when you turn into a chrysalis, you will someday, you know, and then into a butterfly. I think you ought to find it very queer, won't you? Not a bit. <coughs> well, it would feel very queer to me. You? Who are you? I think you should tell me who you are first. Why? Come back. I have something important to tell you. Keep your temper. Is that all? No. So you think you've changed, do you? I'm afraid I have, sir. I barely retain the same size for more than ten minutes together. And what size do you want to be? Oh, well, I look, would like to be a little larger, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. Are you content now? Well, I would like to be a little larger if that's okay. Three inches is good height indeed. But I'm not used to it. God, I wish these creatures would be so easily offended. You'll get used to it in time. One side will make it grow taller, and the other side will make it grow shorter. One side of the what? The other side of the what? Of the mushroom. But, but how do I know which is which? Tell me which way I ought to go. That depends on a great deal on where you like to get to. Oh, well, um, I'm not particular as to where. It's just... But it doesn't matter which side you are. As long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that. Only if you walk long enough. What's all the people with about it? Hmm. In that direction lives a mad hatter. And in that direction lives a march hare. Visit either you like. They're both mad. Oh, well, I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. Oh, and how do you know that I'm mad? You must be, or you wouldn't have come here. And how do you know that you're mad? To begin with, a dog's not mad who <laughs> grant that. I suppose so. So, a dog growls when he's angry and wags his tail when he's pleased. Now, I growl when I'm angry, I won't tell when I'm pleased. And that makes me mad. <laughs> I call it pairing, not growling. Call it what you like. Do you play croquet with Queen today? Oh, I'd very much like to, but I haven't been invited yet. You'll see me there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat. It's the most curious thing I've seen in my life. No, no, There's plenty of room. Have some wine. Come, come, please sit down. I don't please. see any wine. There isn't any, that's why. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down, but we invited. Oh, well, come, come, I, please, come, come, I didn't realise it was your table. It's late for many more than uh, three. Your hair needs cutting. <clears throat> You should learn not to make personal remarks, it's very rude. Roy is a raven, like a writing desk. <laughs> I believe I can guess that. You mean you think you can find the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I do, at least I mean what I say. It's the same thing, you know? Not the same thing a bit. It's like trying to say, I see what I eat the same as I eat what I see. It's like trying to say, I like what I get the same as I get what I like. Day of the month is it? The fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Two days wrong. That's a funny watch. It tells you what day of the month it is, but it doesn't say what o'clock it is. And why should it? Did yours tell you what day of the year it is? Well, of course 
course not. But that's because it stays the same year for much a longer time together. Which is the same case for mine. I don't quite understand you. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, I give up. What's the answer? <laughs> I haven't the slightest idea! <laughs> do something better with time than waste it asking riddles that have no answers. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. <laughs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. I dare say you've never spoken to time. <sighs> well, perhaps not, but I know that I have to beat time when I learn you. Got the cults for it! He won't stand beating. Now, if you only kept on good terms with him, he would do anything you would like with the clock. For instance, say it was nine o'clock in the morning, just in time for lessons to begin. All you would have to do is whisper a hint to him. And if oh, there was a clock in a twinkle, half past one, just in time for tea. Oh, well, that would be grand, certainly, but then I wouldn't be hungry for it, you know? At first, perhaps, but you can keep it at half past one for as long as you would like. <laughs> is that the way you manage? Not I. We crawled that smart just before he went mad. For the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts, I had to swing twinkle twinkle little butt. Where I wonder where you're at. Perhaps you know the song? Something like that. Well, I didn't finish the first verse until she stood up and belted out the top of her lungs. He's murdering time off with his head. How dreadfully savage. And ever since then, he won't do a thing I ask. It's always six o'clock now. Oh, is that why there's so many tea things put out here? Exactly so. It's always tea time. We'll be able to wash things between the wilds. I uh, keep moving around, I suppose. Exactly so, as things get used now. But what happens when you come to the beginning again? I suggest that we change the subject. I'm just tired of this. I vote for the young lady tower for the story. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't know one. Then Dormouse shall. Wake up, Dormouse! I've heard every word you fellows were saying. Oh, tell us a story. Once upon a time, there were three. Little sisters, and their names were Elsie, Lacey, and Tilly. And they lived at the bottom of a well. <laughs> what did they live on? They lived <clears throat> on Treacle. <laughs> oh, well, they couldn't have done that, you know. They would have been very ill. So they were very ill. <clears throat> so why did they live at the bottom of the well? Have some more tea. I haven't eaten, so I can't take any. You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Mm. Nobody asked your opinion. Look who's making personal remarks now. <laughs> oh, well, um, no, you mention it, I don't know. Then you shouldn't talk at all. <laughs> oh, the stupidest tea party I've ever been to in my life. I should be never going there again. Shall be here at any moment, and if you want to eat the same way from the table, I suggest you stay in that lady that's over there. Oh, my darling Alice, how are you today? Quickly now, chop, chop, please, yes, chairs over there. If you would like to stand in this way, please, that would be great. Thank you. Alice, Alice, Show me a good 
later, but Tedda cannot swim. Tedda cannot swim. You can't swim, can you? That snow does make me feel dreadfully ill. Roy, Marianne, what are you doing here? Dear, how queer everything is today. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Marianne, Marianne, fetch me my voice this moment. Please, let me take control. What makes you You've got no right to grow here. Why? Oh, if I could just reach that key. Everything's got a moral. If only you can find it. Being so many different sizes in a day is very confusing. You really must control your urges, Alice. You are looking dreadfully skinny, Alice. You can't cut off the head unless there's a body attached to it. Anything with a head can be beheaded. Don't talk nonsense. I'm sure I can't be Mabel, for I know all sorts of things. And she, oh, she knows very little. Besides, she, she, and I, and I. And, oh dear, how puzzling it all is. Marianne, Marianne! Please leave. I don't know what happened. Are you okay? Yeah. 